Yo, what is going on guys, the DFS Shark. This is my nightly chalkboard slip video. Point of these videos is to get us a solid two man slip out there so it don't get bumped in the morning. These plays usually have lower payouts, but higher odds to hit. In today's play, I was actually able to boost the payout a little bit though. And I'll show you the play here in a little bit so you can see how I was able to boost it. But as always guys, y'all watch these videos, y'all like these nightly breakdowns that I drop every single night. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as these breakdowns drop if you want these plays even sooner as soon as i put them in join the discord the link will be in the description these videos are made for chalkboard right if you're on like sleeper or dabble these other sites you could also play these plays as well you probably won't find these lines on prize picks underdogs and those kind of sites because these are higher odds to hit so we're going to win at a, at a high rate with these plays right but it's going to be less payout sometimes so that's the way it works with these sites but if you want to get started on chalkboard they're only on apple at the moment they will be on droid very soon and i'll keep you all updated as soon as they are drop in that code shark they're going to hook you up with a 100 percent match deposit bonus and then also if you're in the discord shoot me a message and i will get you set up in the premium for 30 days as well and if you want to check out the premium go to the dfsshark.com you can learn more about it right here you can see the others that are in there and some of the reviews so let me go over yesterday's play you can see here we ended up losing here man we are on a hot streak um, when you're on a hot streak, sooner or later, you're going to have to take a loss, right? We've been on a hot We're still going to keep that hot streak rolling. Bradley Beal hit, came through for us. He hit that line. He was at like seven or eight already in the first half. He ended up coming through. But Tyus Jones just couldn't get any rebounds for us. He didn't get this rebound until like six minutes left in the fourth quarter as well. So Tyus Jones just couldn't come through for us. Um, but that's what happens, man. I'm going to show the losses here. I'm going to show the wins. And that's just the way it rolls some nights, right? We're already moving on to tonight let's go into Vassell here we're gonna be going over three and a half rebounds that's gonna be the play we're locking in you can see his last five he's hit this at 80 percent of the time and you can see the upside with him right he's had games of nine eight um five rebounds here five here his last 10 he's hit this 60 percent of the time last 20 65 head to head he's kind of struggled against the Denver actually he played them back in November he only had one rebound he only played 26 minutes here. I expect him to be playing a little more than that, 30 plus. Usually 30 plus is what he's been playing lately. But for the year, he's hit this at 57% of the time. And by the way, this is outlier. This is what I use to dive into stats and trends. Um, it has everything you need all in one space. If you want to try this out and see if you like it, in my link, there's actually a seven day free trial. So you can check them out and use that. But the cell man if you go down here you can see the minutes he's been playing recently 37 minutes a game over his last five and he's hit this line in four of his last five games averaging 5.6 rebounds a game in his last five so two whole points over this line in his last 10 he's averaging five total so the cell has been crushing this line going up against the nuggets who were very strong very tough matchup plus 10 and a half spread so that's something to be aware of as you're putting in this play right plus they have it could be a blowout most likely will be a blowout we just need the spurs to stay in this long enough so Vassell can hit these rebounds that's why we really need him to get off to a quick start getting at least three of these rebounds in the first half um and if you go into the shooting guard position they're about a sixth rank play so Vassell is going to be my first play man i'm locking him in he's been hitting this line consistently he's been playing consistent minutes here 36.6 minutes over his last 10 so he's going to solid play for me to lock in and the second play is going to be on the same game. It's going to be Michael Porter Jr. over six and a half rebounds. It's another play I'm liking here. You can see he's hit this at 60% over his last five here. His last 10, he's hit this at 70%. Last 20, 60. Head to head, he's gone about 50% versus them. And back in November when they played, he had seven rebounds there. For the season, he's hit that 57%. So he's someone who's been consistently hitting this line steady all year as well. Um, and if we look over his last 10 games here, he's averaged 7.3 rebounds a game. 7.3 rebounds a game he has averaged. And so we're a whole point above his 6.5 here. Uh, like I said, the same situation here. We need the Spurs to stay in this game. We need them to play him pretty competitive. Um, last time they played him, they actually played him pretty tough here. Um, 120 to 132. They only lost by 12 points, so not the biggest blowout. Porter ended up playing 32 minutes, and I think if we can get 30-plus minutes from Porter, then we'll be in good shape to hit this line here. So normally, with this play, 
you'll get probably like a 2.40 payout with these two guys but they actually have a flash discount on women yama right now more than nine and a half points um and if you just kind of just go over here to win yama the odds on that is almost a lock. i never say anything's a lock, but these are pretty close these anchor plays as you can get i don't even know if they have this line here um over ten and a half the closest we can get here is going to over nine and a half you can see this is a minus six thousand odds to hit over nine and a half we have ten and a half so his last 10 he's gone over this 100 percent of the time last 20 100 percent of the time head to head last game he put up 22 on him for the year he's gone over this 95 percent of the time women yama so this is pretty much a guaranteed win here that chalkboard has given us and with this we're able to bump up the pay to 2.68 so you can only find this line this woman yama on chalkboard so if you're not on chalkboard and you want some more books to diversify i would definitely jump on chalkboard and just play the discount just play the anchor lines only they're dropping three four five of these a day um they drop so much that i don't even put some in because i don't want to be having seven or eight plays a night so you can just choose which ch anchor lines you want and then just kind of go from there put in three or four slips of the day that's a good solid amount and drop in that code shark if you're gonna sign up there and they'll give you that 100% match deposit bonus up to $100. So you're getting some free money to play with. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe. Drop me a comment if you've been riding with me on this hot streak that we've been on. I'm going to be wrapping it up there. Y'all have a good rest of the night. Take care.